स्थापकाय धर्मस्य सर्वधर्मस्वरूपिणे अवतार वरिष्ठा रामकृष्णाय ते नम We are contemplating on the song sung by a musician, to which Thakur is responding, Sri Ram Krishna is responding, and he is slowly losing the external consciousness. How beautiful on her brow, the drops of moisture appear. just like when we are working very hard or we are moving in the hot sun we see we perspire in the war field how each one would be sweating and slowly drops appear on the face on the forehead like that the mother is being described it's a process by which the bodily existence cools itself external hot atmosphere and the internal calmness is being revealed the self mother is totally of self control and has her own mechanism to maintain the inner peace and joy while the external commotion is going on the whole world when you see the whole universe rather it is a constantly changing flux expanding and contracting everything changing in its process of srishti sthiti pralaya time working space working the expansion of space and contraction of it the whole thing but within and beyond pervading it lies the pure consciousness chaitanya sagara in chaitanya akhanda chaitanya sagara akhanda ananda sagara this universe is appearing and it is pervaded by that ananda sagara chaitanya sagara inside is the calmness external is the burning hot the constantly changing universe so this universe when you observe and the underlying the substratum the pervading reality it is inside it is cool and fine externally as it great war is going on <clears throat> and this is referred to as mother sweating hmm and the you see they are exactly diametrically opposite things the chaitanya and jada how they are together it's a wonder where there is chaitanya there is no duality in world there is no duality there is except duality nothing is there and it's pervaded by a unity which is keeping it bound it is on the other side our own existence you look at we have bodily existence and spiritual existence within it is like a huge ocean and ocean is filled with tremendous waves constantly pouring over it as you go to the depth there is absolute silence unchanging same thing is our the body mind senses the external sheets are jumping about but as you go deeper and deeper you see there is great peace 
there is ocean of bliss within. The Amrita Tva, the Amrita Sagara is within. So this exactly one is calm and joyful, ocean of bliss, one is filled with tremendous activity. This is one is Chaitanya, one is Jada. And in Jada there is Jangama and Stavara. Both are there. The whole thing, the Divine Mother is standing on Shiva. It's compared to Divine Mother standing on Shiva. Just like a boat is standing on water. The universe is just supported by the Absolute. Everything in this universe, you see, I am sitting here on the chair. The whole thing is supported by space. The whole universe, the earth is suspended in this space. So many galaxies are suspended. You know, if you see, there is no support. On what earth is standing? Now nothing. It is suspended in the space. And it is held in a position with the attractions and repulsions of one or the other. The gravitational forces hold them there in that state. So this is considered now the moisture appearing. About her dense black hair, the bees are buzzing in swarms. Huge groups of bees, they are. When it, the likings, whatever now birds of the same feather fly together. You can see anywhere, crows are together, the swans are together, hold the groove. Like that, black matching with black, the bees. Now the hairs are in any human or any living being, the hairs are dead matter projected from the lively body. Nails are dead matter emerging from the living body. How it is coming, you see. Can Chaitanya produce the Jada? This is, life is there, lifeless things are coming. Hmm. These hairs are always considered as in the nature as the uh, trees and all that are considered the Jangama and Sthavara. Sthavara is considered as the hairs of the nature. On the, it is just like on the body we get the Roma. On the whole earth you can see the, uh, the nails and all Jada projecting from the Chetana. How the matter is coming out, you see. It is just behind the hair, just behind the nail, end of the hair there is life. And it is constantly throwing out the hair, it's growing, nails are growing. Hmm. So this combination of Jada and this one, and then the bees, uh, swarms of bees are moving as if. Now the what likes, now vegetation is there, things are there. And we see whole life is clinging on to that. Just earth is producing the plant and vegetation. Whole life force is living on that vegetation. Only that. Every insect, everything, every bacteria, every virus is supported by these. Now, hairs are compared to the vegetation always because it is sustained at the bottom and matter is constantly emerging out like hairs are coming out from the 
and lives are clinging to that. All lives, including the lives in the um, ocean and uh, in water, aquatic animals, all are dependent on this life who enters into life to sustain the life. So the whole thing. Now, bees are living beings, life on the in the earth and the hairs are the food that is produced from the earth that sustains it. Now we are just understanding at the cross our very lowest level of living. We are aware only of the five senses what is depicting. There are other planes of existence where lives are there. Hmm. Uh, Bhū, Bhū, Aswaha, Mahajana, Tapa, and then Atala, Vitala, Sutala, Talatala, and all that below and all. Each plane has so many varieties of beings according to the karmic load. <coughs> all these are sustained by Mother Nature. All lives at all levels, every level, according to their bodily condition, existence, the food necessities, are provided. Hmm. A, jiva, a jiva that has gone to ma or tapa loka and vitala or sutala loka are entirely different. Their food, their type of living, the darkness and the light, the joy and the suffering, all these are entirely different. And wherever they are, they are provided. They all lives are clinging to mothers. Mother is Kala. In Kala she is moving, she is rolling, and they all lives are clinging to her. Hmm. The moon has veiled its face, beholding the sea of beauty. Yeah, on the, when we are on the earth, daytime goes in busy hours of the earning. And if for all other animals, it is gathering food. The moment the sun rises, all lives, pranis, they all go for searching for food. At night, they all return to their places of rest. So we see we are all busy during the daytime. And sun is so harsh that we feel very difficult to bear sometimes. And then at night we all retire. And we see everything has calmed down. We are at rest. And the whole, as if the whole universe is rest. Though on the earth itself at different times, different places are at rest. But we feel wherever we are, the night, and we see the moon is giving most joyful sensations, each day growing in its face, each day coming down. To watch these stars in the sky at night and governing all them, all them as if, and as if putting them all into shyness, the moon do dominates the sky with its moonlight. So, whenever we go out and see moon, especially on the full moon day, the whole thing, it will be the world looks like a dream world, and man enjoys this beauty. Always, few things especially in scriptures, they say the huge uh, animal that is, for the present we have elephant and the sky, moon at night and the ocean, these three entities, you can go on seeing for hours and hours, you will never get feel tired or exhausted. They have their own beauty to display. Look at the ocean. Hmm. It is 
constantly changing. The as at sunrise it is different, at sunset it is different, during daytime it is different. You must see under a, sitting under a tree full of uh, um, shadow and breeze. You must sit there and watch. You never feel tired or exhausted. Even the pictures of ocean with a small bridge somewhere, how much enchanting it is. Similarly, an elephant and a moon at night, you can go on gazing. So that has its own beauty. The beauty is different type of beauty. It is bringing some kind of solace to the burning hearts, some, some kind of pleasantness, some whole day the people will be running about expressing their joys and sorrows of life. At night they come to rest and they get peace. In nature it is described as raso, the rasadayaka. During sunlight even plants, all plants you will see preparing their food. Sunlight is essential for them to prepare the food. As it is becoming night, now nourishment, a kind of nourishment of its own way, uh, that is supplied by the moon, uh, giving them a kind of shelter. And then the small amount of reflected light from sun that is necessary to continue the life at night, its presence, and it wanes and waxes. The whole thing is set in a perfect harmony, that harmony in which the whole thing, all aspects of life and matter are interconnected and they are living at rest amidst themselves. There is equilibrium and there is harmony. All are varieties, not related to each other. The thing is, what, look at the water and earth and the sky and air, whatever you see, there is no relationship at all. All are independent varieties, 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 wherever you see. But there are perfect harmony, a perfect equilibrium, they are balanced. How they the whole thing, everything is going on cycle. Water is falling as rain, again evaporating as cloud, again the plant, the vegetation, the leaves are falling and becoming the manure again. The plants are sustaining by themselves the food cycle. Its growth, life is there. So this harmony, this um, balancing of nature, the perfect equilibrium and the Chaitanya pervading it is considered as the beauty of the Divine Mother beholding the. Tell me, who can she be? The sorceress means who is magician like, who is making the things appear. Just like dream world, when we sleep we find a dream. Who creates it? How it happens? The mind is created. Mind has that power to create a world, including my own image there, with which I identify in dream world. How, where from the dream world came? Where is going to disappear? By the time I wake up, it is no more there. Never to be seen again. Who created that? I experienced, I participated, I was moving about in it experience in Sukha Dukha. Where has it gone? The creation, you see, how that aspect of, that is like magic she is doing. Sorceress, wonder of wonders. Just imagine, compare this universe with your dream world. It is wonder of wonders. The mind can create a world which is looking as real as this world as long as you are in dream. When you wake up only, 
it was unreal. So it is like magic. Somebody, magician, is showing something. Wonder of wonder, Shiva himself, like a corpse, lies vanquished at her feet. The substratum, the absolute. What we saw just now, ocean is turbulent on the surface. Inside depth, there is absolute calmness and no movements of any type. Like that, there is spiritual basis. The material glory and this inner and outer, the inner unchanging eternal reality which is supporting the ever changing world, we call it the Shiva and Kali, the whole universe Kali. It looks like a cough lying down. Kamalakanta has guessed who she is. With the elephant's gait, she is none other than Kali, the mother of all worlds. Mother of all worlds. All various worlds, Bhu, Bhu, Aswa, Mana, Jana, Tapa, Satya, Atala, Vitala, Sutala, all these 14 lokas she has brought out out of her own womb with innumerable beings living in them. Hmm. So, Sri Ramakrishna was in deep samadhi. The whole thing, see, these at the, we are under, trying to understand it at our level. But when you see the reality, it is just like teaching a computer or something to a child, some school going child or 8th, ninth standard, how the software is designed, this, that, and all. It goes on imagining so many things according to its own growth. Suppose the child is in fifth standard. How does a television work? How does a people moving about like? Huh? The people look, sitting in front of it, laugh and weep, feel as if real things are going on in a television. So, when we try to describe the child, how it is made, how it is created, uh, the child tries to understand in its own way. When a scientist looks at it, he immediately understands what type of software it is and how they might have designed the whole picture he brings into the, he knows. When he sees the screen, he sees each small pieces and colors mixed up and presented as a picture, moving picture. So the fiscals, this, that and all, how they are, will be observing the master of it. And now the difference between a child's understanding uh, of a television and one who has created it, his and one who repairs it is another. A system is there, it is repaired. The system is created by someone. The whole system is created by someone. The creator knows exactly what he has done. So this creation, when the Sri Ramakrishna is hearing the same song, he is looking at the individual at the cosmic and the beyond, slowly from the lowest way of our thinking, seeing an image of the Kali, Sri Ramakrishna, next moment he is there at the cosmic level, he sees the whole individual level, Kali playing, the universal level, and he enters into the beyond, unchanging from where this whole thing has appeared. Now, see the moment he enters into the transcendental, leaves this universe of ours, perceivable five senses, when he transcends and goes beyond, he is in deep samadhi. The depth is decided by the 
distance he travels far from this visible world. As you go deeper, you enter the eternal. As you transcend this nature, you enter the eternal. Just like deep sleep, how much absent you are. Deep sleep means how much you are absent to the waking state. Deep sleep means how much you are absent to the world by entering into the spiritual world. So, Sri Ramakrishna is in deep samadhi. Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tat Sat Shri Ramakrishna Arpanamastu